So, good morning mga engineers at welcome ulit tayo sa Engineer JD YouTube channel and for this video, so magpapahinga muna tayo sa numerical methods natin and for this video, didiscuss tayo ngayon kung natatandaan natin last yung last yung unang discussion natin sa reinforced concrete design nag-analyze tayo ng singly reinforced na tension control na beam okay, nag-analyze, kinuha natin yung moment capacity, VMN now for this video, kukunin naman natin yung required na area, so big sabihin magde-design tayo ngayon ng isang singly reinforced pero tension control na beam no? under given load, so pag sinabing design, ang tinatanong sa atin actually is kung ano yung required na reinforcement, kung ilan ano diameter, yung gagamitin natin for this of course, for this beam Okay? So, without further ado, so mag-start na tayo mag-solve nung example natin. Okay? So, for our example, so meron tayong beam okay? na ang dimensions ay 300 in width and effective depth 550. Now, this beam is 6 meters long, simply supported, and then meron siyang unfactored load. So, we have the dead load, 20 kN per meter, live load, 35 kN per meter. Now, we let Fy is 415, so grade 60 na bahal, and Fc prime is 28 megapascals na concrete. Okay? So, pinapahanap sa atin, ano yung kailangang reinforcement natin. Okay? So, let's start. Okay? Excuse me. Yeah. So, first, of course, since unfactored to, sa design, kailangan natin ng factored loads natin. Okay? So, first, let's get the ultimate uniform load so omega u okay so in this case so equals 1.2 mega d plus 1.6 live load again pa load combination to tama na sa nscp siya okay now actually meron pang isa yan di ba so 1.4 dead load now bakit ito yung gagamitin natin di ba again sa nscp ang kailangan natin is the most critical i mean yung mas malaki na magre-result na load okay? so in this case usually, ito yung mas malaki ito, yung 1.2 D plus 1.6 L unless ito yung gagamitin natin ito naman yung gagamitin natin pag yung ratio ng dead load sa live load is greater than or equal to 8 doon lang natin siya gagamitin pero in this case, wakang hindi naman 8 ang ratio okay? so yung sabihin, we can use this as R Governing load combination. So 1.2D times 20 plus 1.6 times 35. So you will get 40, uh, 24 plus something. Okay. So you will get 80 kilonewton per meters. Kuha po. Kuha. So next, nakuha na natin yung factored uniform load. Let's now get the maximum bending moment which is MU. So ito yung kailangan natin. Now, since this is a simply supported beam, okay, walang overhang, alam natin, pag simply supported, ang maximum bending moment is omega L squared over 8, okay? So, omega, so nakuha na natin yan, 80 times L squared, so the length of the beam is 6 meters over 8, okay? So, solving for it, so you get 10 times 6 squared, so 360 kilo newton meters yan kuha natin okay next nakuha na natin yung factored moment mu so let's now start designing this beam of course didesign natin siya so ano yung kailangan reinforce natin so first let's first get rn okay so first get rn so rn is equal to mu over phi B D squared M U V B D squared R N is called the coefficient of resistance ng bin natin coefficient of resistance so, M U over V over V B D squared. Now we assume first again sa so design uh, it is actually ideal no is actually desirable na yung beam natin is always tension controlled okay. So, sure tayo na, ma, na 
Assure tayo na yung strain niya is always above 0.005. No? So, kung tension control siya, we can always set phi equals 0.9. Okay? 0.9. So, MU, so 360. So, times natin, convert natin to Newton times MM. Okay? Divided by phi, 0.9 times B, 300. Times D, 550 squared. Okay? So now, pakasok ulit sa calcium. So you'll get, here, the value is 4.4-4077 mega pascals. Okay. Kuha po. Next. So ito na yung coefficient of resistance Rn natin. So dito, sa calcium nyo, save nyo siya sa variable A. Okay. Save nyo sa variable A. Next. Kunin naman natin yung value ng M. So, value ng M. So, M is usually, so, convention siya. So, Fy over 0.85 Fc prime. Okay? Fy over 0.85 Fc prime. So, Fy is 415 divided by 0.85 times 28. Fc prime is 28. So, here, you'll get 20... Joke, hindi pala 20. It's 17. 0.4370. Okay? So, now, this time, this value of M, isave nyo naman sa variable B natin. Okay? Kuha po. Kuha. So, buray ko na. Buray ko na muna. So, now, nakuha na natin yung So now, nakuha na natin, di ba? Nakuha na natin si Rn. Check. Nakuha na natin si M. Check. Let's now get the steam reinforcement ratio. Rho. Ano so, tayo sa rho? So rho is equal to 1 over M times 1 minus square root, 1 minus 2, MRn over Fy. Ayan. So, 1 over M, quantity 1 minus square root of quantity 1 minus 2 MRN over Fy. So, now, pasok natin yan. So, 1 over M. 1 over M. So, yung M, di ba, nakadeclare siya sa variable B ng calcule natin. Di ba, pinapasok ko yan sa variable B. So, M, variable B. Rn, pinasok natin yan sa variable A ng calcule natin. Okay? Then, Fy is... 415 megapascals. Okay? So now, pag kinumpute natin si Rho, you'll get the value 0.011844. Check nyo ulit. Check nyo kung yan ba yung nakuha natin. Okay? Now, nakuha na natin si Rho. Okay? Now, ito na ba yung gagawin natin agad? So, most like, pwedeng hindi. Pwedeng oo. So, we need to check actually. Okay? We need to check against first the minimum steel ratio, okay? Now, bakit may minimum steel ratio? Again, syempre, pagkulang sa baka lang po. Pag may sineset na minimum value, for course, for yun, yung crack control natin, okay? Kaya kailangan ng minimum. Crack control, okay? So, the minimum for raw is 1.4 over Fy usually. Now, Gagamitin lang natin So, si 1.4 over Fy Kapag ang Fc prime natin Is less than or equal to 31.36 Megapascals Now, paglagpas dyan Paglagpas dyan Ang gagamitin na natin is 0.25 square root Fc prime over Fy Yan, yan yung nasa code natin okay? Now, since Fc prime which is 28 is less than this value so ang gagamitin natin is 1.4 over Fy okay so pasok natin 1.4 over 415 okay so you'll get 0.033 now so this one definitely so 0.11 over dito you'll get so greater than the minimum value. So, okay tayo dyan. Yan. Okay? Next. 
let's now get now the maximum value. So, yung maximum value for the singly reinforced beam natin. Okay. Now, dito sa maximum value, so actually merong parang debate dyan kung ano yung gagamitin natin. Kung, kasi dalawa yan, so, so of course, yung coefficient natin, so 0.85 FC prime beta 1 over F5, dalawa yung pinagbabatihan, pinagdelebatihan dyan, 3 over 8 or 3 over 7. Okay? So 3 over 8, so yung 3 over 8, 3 over something muna, yan. So, yung 3 over 8 something corresponds to the strain, steel strain ratio of 0 0.005. Ayan yung maximum natin. 3 over 7 corresponds to the steel strain ratio of 0 0.004. So, ito yung code maximum natin. Ito yung tens, tension controlled maximum natin. Okay. Now, sa design, halimbawa, sa halimbawa, lumagpas sa value na to, kailangan maging double reinforced. Now, ano yung gagamitin natin? So, 3 over 8 ba? Or 3 over 7? Bilang boundary ng singly reinforced or double reinforced. So, actually, may debate dyan kung 3 over 8, 3 over 7. Of course, some people argue, argue na since sinasabi sa code na 0 0.004 ang limit, dapat 3 over 7 yung limit natin for singly reinforced. Pero meron din naman nagsasabi na 3 over 8, so yun, for simplicity, ngayon, Ah, uh, masasabi ko lang dito is of course, yun nga. Both are correct. Uh, both are correct in the in the sense kasi the on yun kung mababasa niyo yung code, no? The code only says that in any beam design, again, in any beam design dapat ang ang sinasabi lang nila, dapat ang steel strain ng steel is always greater than or equal to 0 0.004. So wala siyang sinabi explicitly na pag ganitong value ng strain dapat double reinforced na siya pag ganitong value simply reinforced ang sinasabi niya lang that in all beam design either singly or double reinforced dapat ang steel strain natin is always greater than or equal to 0.004 now dito syempre sa video natin actually ito yung pinakagina uh, ito yung pinakagay yun sa video natin na to and of course always ginagamit ko sa design I always use epsilon equals 0 0.0045 as the boundary for the singly reinforced beam natin. Now, bakit ito yung ginagamit ko? It, yun, pag lagpas dito, always ensure ako that V is 0.9. Okay? Always ensure ako dyan. Point, v equals 0.9. Now, now, mamaya, of course, okay, makuha tayong era, i-round up natin. Okay? So, of course, Dito, of course dito, syempre, tumaki yung area. So, most likely, lalagpas siya sa 0 0.005 na limit natin. So, aabot siya sa transition control na section natin. Pero, since nakas 0 0.005 yung boundary natin, assured ako na yung, yung resulting strain nung design beam ko is greater than or equal to 0 0.004. So, assured ako dyan. Because, ang basis ko is somewhat higher yung value natin na strain. Okay? So, kung bumaba man siya, for sure, hindi siya bababa dito sa value na to. Okay? So, so that's why, pag ako magde-design, I always use 3 over 8 for the value of yung boundary natin for singly reinforced. Okay? Also, mapapansin nyo, di ba, kanina, in natin na V is 0.9. Tama? Nasum natin na V equals 0.9. So dapat, syempre, kung ano yung, yung limiting ratio for V is 0 0.09, 0 0.9, yun yun gagamitin natin, which is 3 over 8. So medyo mahaba, no? So I hope nasundan nyo yung reasoning ko, but 3, 3 over 8 ginagamit ko, okay? So now, pasok na natin, 3 over 8, 0.85, FC prime, beta 1. So, since less than or equal to 28, so 0.85 automatically. So, over 450. So, you'll get 0 0.01828 Okay? So, now, may kita natin, this value of ratio, so yung actual steel ratio natin is less than that of the singly reinforced boundary. Okay? 6 sabihin, assured tayo na singly reinforced yung beam 
natin. So, therefore, singly. Okay? Kuha natin. So, okay na po. Burain ko na ulit. Okay? So, now, since alam na natin yung steel ratio, so, nakuha na natin yung steel ratio, so, steel ratio is okay. Okay? So, now, kunin na natin yung required reinforcement. So, AS equals rho times BD. Okay? AS is rho times BD. So, 0.0 11844 times 300 okay times the effective depth 550 so you'll get 1954 26 millimeter squared so pag hindi binigay yung diameter ng bar na required this is the final answer okay okay now pag binigay halimbawa kailangan ko ng diameter 25 bakal. So, ilang diameter 25 yung gagamitin ko. So, ano lang siya? Geometry is lang siya. So, alam natin that the number of 25 diameter bars is of course the area over the area of one bar. Okay? So, 1954 26 divided by the area of the 25 mm bar pi over 4 times 25 squared. So, pasok ulit sa calcu. So, you'll get 3.5 9812 Say Apat Four pieces Na 25 mm Okay So yan So ibig sabihin Kailangan daw natin Ang apat na 25 mm For this Kuha po Yan Now of course Siyempre Sa actual design So check nyo Apat na 25 Kakasya ba yan In one layer Kakasya ba yan Two layers Kakasya ba yan Ang nakabundle So ano na yan So parang i-arrange nyo na siya dun sa of course, dun sa beam natin okay now if you check, ano ba, kung nagdududa kayo kung papasaba talaga to if you check VMN for this, okay VMN for this, uh, I will leave this one as an exercise kasi diniscuss ko na to nung, nung, nung previous video natin uh, pwede nyo itry sa bahay, okay so if you calculate VMN for this you'll actually get 361.50 kN meters which is greater than yung nakuha nating MU so 360 so we're sure na pasado yung 4 na 25 mm okay so I hope may natutunan kayo sa topic na to so uh, with this I hope yun na parang na na intis yung interest nyo sa pagde-design ng beams at in general pagde-design sa reinforced concrete okay so as usual so please uh, drop your comments for suggestions or questions and please continue subscribing to my youtube channel and like and follow my facebook page for more updates okay so hanggang dito lang muna tayo so good uh, good morning everyone ingat tayo lagi dyan and have a nice day